a question. What happened with the whole Nipsey situation? Because a lot of people were upset and in arms about that particular delivery. Yeah, they didn't go to the funeral, though. They don't know. They didn't, they didn't get to meet Irmas. They know the rapper lyrics. They don't even know Nipsey Hussle. They don't even know Nipsey. You got to eat another name. They stuck on a the character. They'll never get to know Irmas. So I was living in California, right? I never knew he was that popular. We'd see him on the news every now and then. Come back home, don't nobody know Nipsey. I didn't know him really in California. We went to the store and everything. I really didn't know him. After he died, I'm back home saying, man, they doing all this shit for this nigga. Who is he? We don't even know nothing about him. So I get invited to the funeral. I go to the funeral. I'm going to hear about Nip. It's in a coliseum. I walk in. Uh, I sit on the floor, catty corner to celebrities. Uh, I'm looking up, man. Motherfucker smoking weed. They playing his music with cussing in it. So I'm saying, man, it's a dead body over there. It's a casket. So as I'm sitting there for Nip, I hear people talking about Irmis. Man, I didn't know that was his name. Most people don't even know it. Can't even pronounce the name, but they can say Nip. So I'm sitting there, man. I'm listening to his mother. I listen to his brother, his father, Lauren London. Then this seven-year-old kid, Lil Wayne, Lil Boy come up there. And this Lil Boy says, last night, Irmis came to me in a dream. Man, something hit me. And I put that weed out. And the little boy's voice was so clear. And he said he was in heaven. Come on, man. How can this? Who told that kid to say that? No, nah, they bullshitting. Who told that seven-year-old baby to say that? How can he articulate? Y'all go listen to it when we done. How can he articulate that? It was so. How, how can that kid do that? He said, Irmis. He didn't say Nipsey. Nipsey was left back here. For all y'all that don't know nothing about Irmis, Irmis went to heaven. Man, I put that shit out. Now I'm paying attention. So I'm with the Rolling 60s. I spend the day with the Rolling 60s. On the way back, one of the founders of the Rolling 60s give me a ride back to the neighborhood where I was at. He didn't say nothing all day long. Big old guy. He said, man, when, when, when Nip was about 12 years old, he came up to him and he said, hey, big homie, can I ask you a question? He said, why you gangbang? That grown man told that kid, I gangbang because I was born to. This 12-year-old kid said, well, big homie, when I grow up, I'm going to take care of the hood. That's long before Nip came along, homie. I went and grabbed hold to the spearman of Irmis while y'all hold on to the d demonic lyrics of Nipsey. The gangbanging Nipsey, I'm going to turn these bitches into, I'm going to turn all these bitches into lesbians. That was just a character talking, homie. That nigga had a daughter. Nipsey was a guy that knew astrology. Nah, I mean Irmis. So we get stuck on the rap character and miss this great man. So they'll never write about Nipsey in a motherfucking history book, but they'll write about Irmis. And so our children be, be conditioned to this fucking rap name and miss that man's real name. Greatness, Irmis. Nah, nah, Nip got killed in it, man. Great. So I went in, on a journey, homie. So it's easy for me to say the dead is dead, but homie, I don't speak ill on Irmis. Fuck that character. I know the man. I went and heard his mother. I heard kids. When he was 12 years old, he had a desire in his heart to do what he did. He had to play a character to do it. Nigga, I got to play a character to do it. So Rat Williams, Blue, C-Nut, man, you can't speak on Charleston White names to some people. You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream.